I think I just survived my punishment for WWE's TLC. What's up, you guys? Such Boss here. Um, today, um, if you're not seeing it on my channel, I recently uh, predicted my TLC predictions and I got the predictions wrong. So my punishment, the fans of my Instagram commented saying, Hey, I asked them this question. Do you want me to watch a holiday special with punishment? And 20% of them said, heck yeah. And we pulled the trigger and... We watched the holiday special. So, so guys, let's begin talking about why this holiday special is atrocious. Well, guys, let's find out. You're right the now. only one ever in the whole entire Star Wars community ever thought we we should see some Black Series figures from this line. I think, heck yeah, we need some Black Series figures of a uh, 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 two's family. I'd love to see it as a Comic Con exclusive or something like that. I think it'd be really cool. Hi, Huggy. I'm oh, sorry, my dog came in to say hi to me. So, I think the holiday special was okay. So, do we tell you what how I feel about it? For starters, we'll also have spoilers if you want me to spoil it. I spoil it for you. So, Star Wars Holiday Special opens up um, with Chewie's family. Chewie's in-laws. Uh, Chewie's father's living with them. Uh, Chewie's wife and his kid. Um, Mariah, Itchy, and Thundun. I'm not sure what the other one's name is, but in one of them's Itchy and Mariah, some, something like that. Uh, it, it was really cool to see them. So pretty much the first 15 minutes of the film was dedicated to the Wookiees howling at each other. Like, that's what all it sounded like. That's all it sounded like. And there's no subtitles to see what the heck the understanding is. All those are just Wookiee noises for 15 minutes. And then we had some human uh, content. Before that, it opened up with uh, Han and Chewie getting chased by uh, a Star Destroyer, which is cool. Um, the Imperial Stormtroopers came to the house and they invaded it, which is kind of weird. Um, pretty much just about them trying to celebrate Life Day uh, safely in order peace in the... Uh, Empire just looking for uh, hidden rebellion uh, hideouts or bases, if you will. That's what the that's what the rebellion's up to with the Empire. So that's pretty much the gist of the plot. So pretty much it just uh, revolves around Chewie's family and uh, how they celebrate. Uh, one life. of the weirdest moments was when they had this little scene of um, where uh, they have these like this random scene uh, of these circus things. They're like doing circus tricks and like the music was really cool though. It was really awkward to see like a, almost a illumination of a, a circus acrobat and doing acrobatics. It was weird. It was really weird. Literally, I'm having Chewbacca in my video. I got on the Disney Store a while back. But I think it was a very weird um, opening of the Star Wars Holiday Special. It was kind uh, of strange. We saw a trader, which was really cool. Um, some of my favorite parts was seeing Luke, Leia, and Han. I think it was really cool. Um, Han's a little bit grumpy, <laughs> I agree. Um, I, I can tell some of the, like, the main stars who don't want to be there, um, doing the special at all, because, like, they're always irritated by it. Uh, Darth Vader was in there for a minute, which is stupid. Um, well, guys, since I know a little bit about the plot, and I kind of spoiled a little bit about that, um, let's talk about the, um, most unreal thing in the whole entire special. Uh, let's talk about the whole, um, with all the technology and stuff. I think the technology is really weird, and I don't understand it. I think uh, Chewie's son is really cute. I like the son a lot. Um, the former Jewers literally invaded his room. It was almost like police officers. Um, it was kind of strange to see that. Um, my favorite part in the whole movie was seeing uh, uh, Chewie's wife cook. I thought it was hilarious seeing a monkey cook in the kitchen, uh, learning how to cook with the different instrument like, uh, videos and stuff. One of the guys was a droid, a uh, humanoid droid, which is kind of awkward to see a, an actor do that but the only person i could see is anthony daniels i wish there was a little bit more of him in order to together um leia was there eh, she was okay uh, this is not the best performance of their career no um no it's actually episode six in my opinion um it, it, it was okay I, I didn't too much enjoy it um i get why people hate it do you think this is worth in jar jar banks no um i, I think jar jar is better than this um, other than that, the holiday special was That's weird. one of my favorite elements of the movie is the whole theming of friendship. And I will watch this probably again with my kids. Um, I think it's a well-deserved punishment. And it's not, like, the best thing ever created from Star Wars. I thought it was funny. 
Um, some of it was funny, a dying laughing on the cold cooking scene. There's a scene of the cantina with, like, the cantina band singing. And then Leia singing with, like, the ballad. Leia sings a ballad, and same with the cantina bartender singing a, uh, ballad, which is kind of weird. And then, uh, you saw Sabretooth in his iconic orange, uh, outfit, which is cool. Uh, I saw the Stormtroopers gets blown off, which is cool, which is a little bit more violence. Um, I can see why kids get bored of this. It's, like, almost a very upbeat and humble movie. Um, it's not my favorite Star Wars content ever. It's probably the worst Star Wars I've seen in recent years. The, it makes the Mandalorian, to, like, it makes the Mandalorian have massive diarrhea watching that. <laughs> Seriously. You, you think, the thing that you redo this Baby Yoda, the one did in 2020 was phenomenal. Um, uh, no, the 1978 one was okay. It was horrible. I'm not gonna lie. I like how they introduced all the characters at the beginning, and I feel like I was watching an 80s uh, documentary. Oh, another cool. thing before I close out the video, in the in the beginning of the film, it's, it said, we're talking about Boba Fett too, it said, um, no, 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 the Incredible Hulk won't be joining us today. Uh, and also Wonder Woman will not be joining us today. That's what it said. And it's really weird. And then also, um, there's a scene with Boba Fett's first appearance, this is before Empire Strikes Back, um, where we see Boba Fett, um, well, I give, give a one-liner, he was hiding with the Empire, became an ally, quote-unquote. He's sort of an ally, now he's ruling the underworld, if you've not seen My Man of the War in Season 2, please check that video out. Um, I, I thought this whole dark, this whole, like, uh, cartoon thing was kind of cool to see Luke and and Han was talking like how they so they pretty much had to flip them upside down because the blood like rushing to their head because of, like this sleepy drug um type of thing uh that the Empire uses on this planet I don't understand why so but before I got the antidote trying to save them trying to take them to the base and they caught him right hand red handed so he flies off so now we see him until Empire Strikes Back so it's a good way to introduce also, him. I love Boba Fett I think Boba, Boba Fett is one of the best characters ever created in Star Wars and he's super cool, especially in The Mandalorian. Oh man, he's part of the Sarlacc pick, by the way. Another thing I like to discuss about this whole uh, movie thing is some of the gadgets are kind of interesting. Um, for example, uh, Itchy got this like thing where he saw this girl singing in space, and it's like this hologram of this like rock and roll band. It, it was kind of strange. So, the, the lead villain was like an Imperial officer and a couple troopers. So I'm hoping to get a Stormtrooper for Christmas. Um, it was a very weird uh, movie, uh, mini series, documentary, I don't know whatever you want to call it, it's television special. So if you want to check it out, it's on YouTube, it's an hour and 37 minutes long, or you find one's an hour and 56 minutes with commercials. Choice, I watched the one that's an hour and 37 without commercials, and it's a nice version. So, the comments are kind of funny too, so I read a little bit of the comments on that video. So, other than that, I'm ending the video now, so if you guys do like and subscribe, I saw it's your boss. For more videos like this in the future. And thanks for watching. Bye.